I'm going to read the uh, intro because otherwise you'll get too excited. Yes, <laughs> right, thank you. Enough. Thank okay. you. <laughs> uh, Stephen Bauer is with us. He's in the second season co-starring as Avi, right-hand man for Ray Donovan, played by Liev Schreiber. Here's a clip, and then we'll talk to Stephen. I got this for my guy in internal affairs. This guy, Jim, is in homicide. Did his patrol work in the 77th Division. He was a finalist for a Medal of Valor. He's a good cop. Where are the pictures? Uh, right there in the folder. The other pictures. No, boss. No other pictures. Oh, here it is. You make the accent. Yeah. You know, I just think, listen, it's, it's, you really nail that accent. It's Israeli really accent. You first, uh, you first got along because you were authentically Cuban, right? And you could exactly. do, and you could do that accent. Really I could well. do, I could do my father's accent. That's yeah. what it was, exactly. right? Exactly, yeah. basically. Yeah. And I could pass it on because when when I met Al and we started and and uh, he really had to approve me for the role. Pacino, yes. Because because yeah, yeah Pacino and and uh, Brian De Palma had already basically chosen me and and Marty Bregman, the producer, had chosen me, and they said we got to get you, we got. Al's got to meet you under the right circumstances because he's going to love you, you know. But it's it's all up to him because you guys are going to be together all the time. So what happened was they set us up to meet, but he had this thing in his head. He said, "Steve Bauer." Yeah. He says, I, "Midwest." You guys yeah. keep yeah. you guys keep telling me that this guy's Cuban. <laughs> and so the first so I walked when I first walked in the door, I was like, "Wow!" And I, I and I had just sat next to him. A month before the audition, mm -hmm. in a in a, a, a gathering after seeing him in on, on off Broadway, and I never spoke to him, so and he was my my hero, yeah. and so here I was finally meeting him face to face, and I had so much to tell him, and all I could do was just smile and just shake his hand, and he said, "Why are you Steve Bauer?" <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Tell me you're really Cuban." I said, "I'm Cuban." I, I spoke Spanish for him. Yeah. So I was able to, to help him with that. And that movie we're talking about, a lot oh. of people have an obsession with Scarface, including you. Right here. They do? And oh. it was, uh, Go figure. and it, it wasn't, when the movie opened, it, it wasn't the huh. movie and the culture that it became. Yeah, right? No, the critics had years. an obsession. Yeah. With, <laughs> the, yeah. the critics had an obsession with destroying Destroy Scarface. It. Yeah, yeah. Sort of like wiping it off the map, because, uh, and I remember at the end of the 80s, there was a, a top 100 list of the, the best movies of the 80s, and Scarface was not on it. That's unbelievable. So it was almost like it didn't exist. At the end of the 80s, Scarface was gone from the, from the society, from, from, from the pop culture. And then somehow it started filtering back yeah. in. Hip Hop Nation. Absolutely. Picked it up, yeah. Absolutely. Do you kind of live the Manny character every day of your life? Everyone. What kind of question what is kind of that? What kind of question is that? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, what's it like, li you know, going through Scarface then and uh, now? Because now it's still. It is. It's it's uh, it's amazing because there are there are sub subsequent generations yeah. that have discovered it, and and so there are young kids who see it and they actually recognize me either from my voice. Or, or you know, it, it's, if I make eye contact, they'll recognize me. They'll say, "Wait, I know who you are," and and uh, because obviously I don't, I'm not that tall, skinny guy, that, you know, with the dark hair anymore. <laughs> but but my voice is basically the same, same and they yeah. and they recognize my voice. So now now you segue, you, you know, you have a long career, good career. Now you're Ray Donovan, which has aspects in yeah. terms of the passion that people have for this for this. It's true. The, the audience response has been amazing, and it's widespread. And I've also seen some of the some of the reports and the feedback from Europe, and Australia, and um, it's a hit. You know, it's sort of it's it's going all over. It's sort of a universal hit. And and uh, as an American iconic thing, like mm -hmm. Sopranos had that kind of thing to it that represents. A segment of America. Of what America do, what do you do? Because you own your characters that you play. You're basically a character actor. That's what you are. Yes, and I say yeah. that as the highest compliment. I mean, let's face Because if we were just a leading man, your career would be over by yeah, now, right? Exactly. Uh, what if you you see the lines and you see what the director wants and you don't agree with it because you feel like you know the character better? What happens? You know, I, I usually will, will will ask for 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 time with the director, and and if if I'm going into something that's that's that complex and that um, 
and that profound uh, that that it really requires more than just meeting the director and doing and going through the you know do, going through the motions uh, there, a lot of things that you do are fast and you don't really have time to you have to j just do your own work and if the director has any 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 uh, ideas you just listen to them basically mm -hmm. but if it's a character that's complex mm -hmm. you want you need that time with the director right. because you've got to be on the same page you have to yeah. be it, and, and and you don't want to be the diva, and you don't yeah. want to be a diva either, yeah. but it, or a know it all. But the, the but the idea is, if he chose you, that means he wants your ideas. Good point. Good point. Go ahead. Right. Yeah. I know we're out of time. Ask him one. Go ahead. Uh, I can. Yeah. Oh, I was just going to ask, ask you. Me. Breaking Bad kind of. Oh, I thought you could do a Scarface oh, question. A Scarface question? Oh no, it's okay. It's okay. I, I won't. I it's won't okay. embarrass myself. Okay. <laughs> it's not okay. It's not okay. <laughs> yeah. But you can ask me about Breaking Bad. I, mean, I was just going to say that the you did you guest starred in Breaking Bad that helped you get the role. Big time. Yeah. 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 Big For time. sure, yes. right? Absolutely. Because you got to be the boss. Absolutely. I I I really you know. I owe a debt of gratitude to, to Vince, to Vince Gilligan. Yes. And I was so happy to see him, you know, and, the, and all those guys take all the honors the other night. Do me a favor. In character, do your promotion here, right there. You look, right, right there. Uh, you want Ray me Donovan. to talk to the, to the camera? Yeah. Okay, well, you have to watch Ray Donovan, or else uh, you may get a visit from uh, Avi or someone that I know. <laughs> and Avi's case. Sunday night, <laughs> 9 o'clock, on Showtime. I'm getting scared. I'm going to watch. <laughs> Let's do a shout out to the Ring Theater, the University oh, yeah. of Miami. The University of okay, Miami, Ring right. Theater. Okay. Um, I love it uh, there. That's where I trained, and yeah. that's where I became an actor. Okay.